On the clearest of nights, when the winds of the Ethereum were calm and peaceful, the great merchant ships with their cargoes of Arcturian solar crystals felt safe and secure. Little did they suspect that they were pursued by... Pirates. And the most feared of all these pirates was the notorious Captain Nathaniel Flint. Flint and his band of renegades swooped in out of nowhere. And then, gathering up their spoils, vanished without a trace. Certainly a lot of trouble over that odd little sphere. Those markings baffle me. Unlike anything I've ever encountered. Even with my vast experience and superior intellect, it would take me years to unlock its... Hey! <gasps> what? It's a map! Wait, 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 wait! This is us, the planet Montressor. That's the Magellanic Cloud. Woo! The Coral Galaxy. That's the Cygnus Cross. And that's the Carolina Abyss. Wait, what's this? What's this? What? It's Treasure Planet. No. That's Treasure Planet. Flint's Trove? The loot of a thousand worlds? You know what this means? Ah, uh, yes. This is the town of Benbo on the mining planet of Montressor. But then, being born here, you know all that, don't you, Jim? It's not the most exciting place in the galaxy, but we all have to start somewhere. Treasure chests are armored. The only way to open them is by combining brute force and a big, sharp object, like your sword, for instance. are vulnerable to any form of attack you inflict upon them, be it from the employment of your laser or your sword. Ah, this door appears to be locked, Jim. Looks like you'll need to zap a switch somewhere in the immediate vicinity. That may open it right up. Now, Jim, barrels are designed to resist damage from being bumped about, so... You'll have to zap them to open them.
Jim, my dad left me in charge of the scrapyard, and there's some ugly old birds stealing spare parts. Can you help me, please? Ethan, yeah, sure. Thanks for trying, Jim. I guess there were just too many birds, even for a hero like you.